well, I got four of these, um, and this time it was on purpose. And we will see if I regret it or not. status everybody it is fixed status back with another video for you guys um, how's everybody doing first and foremost hope everybody's week has gone pretty well and the weekend is going well for you at least at the time of this recording whenever you watch this I hope you're doing all right um, yeah man I uh, th this video was kind of spoken into existence because I was uh, I had filmed the weapons pack review uh, earlier th in, in this week at the time of this recording and I was like, oh, you know, I'm looking for Valiverse figures. I'm looking to see if I can get some things to kind of show these weapons off with. Um, I have been eyeballing, you know, this particular figure for quite some time uh, over the internet, but being a toy collector means that um, it's all about instant gratification for you. So you don't really want to wait, you know, the long, uh, you know, shipping times. But funnily enough, or strangely enough, coincidentally enough, um, it took just as long for me to actually get the figures, you know, in hand um, as it would have taken if I would have just ordered them like a week ago and just had them shipped. So that's kind of the duality of the thing. But I digress. Um, here we have the Action Force Valiverse Scarabs. I haven't even opened them yet. You know, I definitely wanted to do my, my uh, honest first reactions to them I've, I've heard really good things about them but um, I have not held one or you know even had one in my hands before today so we are definitely gonna take a look at this uh, deep dive in here and just see what we have going on so let's get into it so just to get everything you know just just to have one in focus here um, <clears throat> excuse me I think that um, I, I definitely wanted to cover the packaging on these because it's, it's packaging that not everybody has seen, not everybody is familiar with. Um, a lot of people that follow me, they don't even know anything about Valiverse or not into it yet. And I definitely want to make this video, you know, for people to, uh, you know, definitely get into this line because I definitely think that this product coming from a smaller company, I'm not going to say it's small, but coming from a smaller company, um, we need to protect Valiverse at all costs, man. What they're doing over there is crazy. Um, from what I've been following them on YouTube and Instagram, and I've you know, heard other people's opinions on this stuff, they're doing some fantastic work and they're kind of breaking the mold from what the big manufacturers are doing and a lot of their really unfavorable processes, at least for me. You know, I, I, I guess the, the, the majority consensus that everybody's happy with what you know, Hasbro and Mattel are doing. I don't really have too much of an issue with Mattel, but that's just because I have a bias towards Jurassic Park and they're making some really good stuff over there. But um, nonetheless, let's get into the packaging here. So really, really like the colors on the packaging. It's very nice. I mean, coming from a small company, they don't, it's, it's not cheap packaging, you know? Like it's not like dollar store packaging or something like that. Nice artwork of the Scarab there. Let me just get that into focus. Really, really nice action force on the side. You got your file card, got the different characters in the line. Really, really good professional, you know, packaging on this thing, man. I mean, this thing is very nicely done. You got your, your plugs for your different social media down there. Action force at the top there. Good old stuff there. So let's get it open. Um, again, let's be respectful of the packaging. Let's be nice to it. Be right back. All right, so and this is going to be kind of hard for you guys to see. So one thing I really like is the pa it's just the inside packaging as well. So they do everything at all costs to make sure they protect the figure. It does come with a sleeve on the front. Here, I'll take that off. And then, well, that's a hard plastic sleeve. And then it also comes with a uh, a soft plastic sleeve, kind of like a like a sheet here that you just kind of pull off to. Um, 
kind of protect everything on the figure here. And wow, uh, in person, this thing looks looks great. So I'm gonna get him out of the package, get him, you know, bolstered up and everything, and then we'll get into it. All right, so we got him out of the package. Um, just had some initial thoughts on this guy. I mean, this thing, this thing is incredible. Um, just to start off first with the deco, because I usually, that's the first thing I talk about. There's the first thing you see on a figure before you test articulation, everything like that. This guy is beautiful. Um, no shortage of paint. There's just so many minute details where there's paint applied. The metallic silver is metallic. It's not, you know, dull or anything. And it's shining very nicely in the light here. Um, even like the base color that the, the figure is molded in, it has a nice hue to it. It's, it's, it's very, it takes the light very well too. Like it just, it's, it just looks good. It looks good. This helmet right here is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Just looks so insectoid. Um, I'll, I'll get some close-ups for you guys there. Um, you know, the deco is great. The armor design itself is actually really, really cool too, because I'm also really into like mechas and power armor and things like that. So I'm always into really, really good armor designs. And I like it because it's a good blend of being sci-fi and then grounded because from what i understand the story of the Oliverse and like the story behind the figures is fairly fairly grounded um in kind of like real world situations but at the same time this kind of gives it a very scientific element excuse me not scientific but sci-fi uh, element to it so that's really awesome um as far as the joints are concerned the joints are really really oh man Th what these joints remind me of uh there's no detents on them but they're still really really tight it, it just reminds me of um, of uh, import figures, honestly. It, it's really that quality. Like everything is nice and stiff, but it's not too stiff. Um, I'm, I didn't even heat these up with any air gun, or excuse me, not air gun. Uh, I didn't heat these up with, um, with a heat gun or any water, which I will do after, after this video. I'm gonna heat everything up, all my other ones. Um, but just straight out of the box, they feel really, really nice. Um, man, the, the one thing I definitely want to talk about just first, and I know this is kind of breaking the mold, this articulation right here, you just, like, you just get, it just, it, it's so fluid. It's so, like, it just, it's just a natural movement. And he has chest armor on, too, so you can't really get the upper, because I know there's upper... I believe there's a um, upper torso chest um, articulation there. So we'll take a look at that. But everything just kind of flows nicely. He has butterflies, um, double jointed, um, you know, knees there. Um, he has a pivot, but this one's kind of stiff here. So I don't want to, I don't want to force anything. I'm just being very ginger with, the, you know, with this guy here. But he feels good. He feels good. Look at the head is getting a lot of range there, even with the collar on the back this thing is fantastic um yeah the joints are the joints are butter it's just buttery like yeah this guy's dope um the articulation is very comparable to gi joe's it's almost it's pretty much I'm not gonna say it's on par because there's some things that this that this thing does better. Well, a lot of things is that this guy does better. Um, he does have drop down hips, um, which you can kind of get him. You can get some pretty nice movement out of that. Look at that, kicking high, man, I'm like Spider Man. Better than some Spider Mans in some cases. Um, so you know he does that, um, but you know. This thing is nice. This thing is nice. And there's a really nice heft to it. Like he just feels like substantial, you know? Feels substantial. He got really nice sculpt work on the back there. Let's, let's try to get a little bit closer. Look at that, that's, that's nice. Got a knife sheath. And like everything is, is, is operational on this figure. Like everything has a purpose. Like it's not, Everything, like, except the bullets, I mean, like, the bullets on the vest are deco, but, like, for the most part, everything has a has a utility, you know? So that's, that's really, really cool. Um, 
let's get into the accessories on them um so first and foremost i'm a gun guy so it comes with now this one this one's eluding me because it looks like an m4 it's it's an m4 variant of some sort like you know the receiver is an m4 um i'm just not exactly sure which one this is <laughs> he says directly after saying he's a gun guy but yeah really really nice and it also has that same yellow deco on this guy as well really really cleanly applied again major details no blemishes it's all clean um and he also comes with removal yeah removal mag and these ones are different than the other ones we got so these are these are like your standard uh m4 magazines whereas the ones that we got in the uh the weapons pack those are magpul uh magazines there but yeah this this thing looks choice really really cool he also comes with a pistol now this one i'm i'm fairly certain this is not an actual pistol that um that is in any issue or or available on the market this is strictly uh, a made-up design but it looks really nice it looks really nice and again it, it does have that same kind of grounded feel to it it almost has like a blade runner type look to it like very like futuristic but kind of like retro futuristic so to speak so i really like the design in there got some nice hits of that yellow there um my only complaint and this will be more prevalent in the hands is that since you're you're painting over black which is what the you know the piece is originally molded in the yellow sometimes isn't as clean. Like you can see on the edges there, it's just not as strong as like say on the, the top there. But that's always what's gonna come with, you know, painting black, you know, colors over black. Black is just really hard to paint over. If you're a customizer, you know exactly how that is. But the assault rifle also does come with two extra mags, which is just such an awesome addition. Like we don't need that, but just the fact that we get it is just cool, you know? So it also comes with a very nicely sculpted kukri knife. I think I pronounced that correctly. Kukri knife? Kukri knife? Um, kukri. I'm gonna have somebody correct me in the comments for sure. Really, really cool. Again, modern take on it with the, you know, with the grooves and the cuts out of the blade there. I don't know how strong this blade would be with, oh my goodness. I don't know how strong this blade would be with those cuts in there but nonetheless it looks really really nice so i'm a guy that always likes the the look of something over the functionality of it a lot of times handles there and this blade looks i mean it looks sharp too like that looks like an actual knife the silver is is painted on there in such a way it really looks like a knife it just looks like a small knife your blade is curvaceous and sexy and it will kill so that's awesome really really nicely done and then the thing that i think um this line does a hundred times better than gi joe is actually give you different options for hands man so he's he does come with trigger fingers i just put the fists on while i was messing with him but yeah you got your trigger fingers there really nicely sculpted you have this would i assume be knife holding hands which is also really nice. And then, to hold your weapons correctly, you need weapon cupping or weapon gripping hands, man. This is so essential. And the thing is really, these hands too could also kinda, you know, if you have like a foregrip, you could, you, you could hang on to a foregrip with this as well. And I'll bring out some of the other weapons just to kinda show a difference there. But yeah, these right here, there's such a necessity if, you, if you're gonna do a military uh you know a military toy line and you're having guns these guys gotta be able to cup the you know the grip i mean hey S star wars got it right right they they they, they gave us this you know gi joe come on man also last but not least a really really nice stand comes with this guy and it's very heavy duty too this thing is solid it's thick, it's solid, it's um, very nice. I mean, it's painted. I, it, no, it's not painted. I don't think it's painted. But it just, it it's giving off a, no, it is painted. I think it is. Because it's this shine, like, you can't get this off of molded plastic, bro. At least not to my knowledge. But nice sheen to it. It feels really, really good, really high quality. I, I'm not breaking this anytime soon. 
if, unless I really, really tried to. Yeah, man. All in all, though, this thing is really, really fantastic. You can get them into some really, really nice poses. I'll show you guys uh, in the pictures as well. Again, really nice weight to them. The deco is nice. Articulation is fantastic. Sculpt is great overall. The, the full package, what you're getting is a full package. You're not just getting a figure and an effect piece. You're getting a full set of things for your money. Uh, a full set of accessories. You get your stand going. What more can you ask for? You get a couple of these guys, you have them fight whoever, um, or you just have them standing, you know, to attention from a commander, whatever it is, you know. Definitely mix universes with this because it's still a relatively new IP to where it's not something overly recognizable. I mean, like I said before, I'm a guy who, bl I'll, I'll literally have Thanos fighting a legion of stormtroopers if I had him. So um, I don't really care too much about that. But if you're one of those picky people, this can kind of fit into anything really. This could go into Star Wars as well as, you know, Marvel. Um, I've heard people say these can be like AIM soldiers as well. So, uh, so yeah. definitely, really really nice addition to your collection again if there's uh if there's anything else that you guys want me uh to look at let me know uh i do have a couple reviews that i'm working on as well after this one um yeah yeah i couldn't be happier with this um again like i said before i think i said the rating 10 out of 10 get them please get them uh, I'm definitely going to be getting the other figures in the wave, not just the army builders, but this is kind of like the, the, you know, like the testing grounds for me just to see what I was getting into. So yeah, um, you guys take it easy. Have a safe day, weekend, week, working, whatever. Um, even if this is the year 3000, whatever time of year it is, you guys be safe out there. Um, yeah, let's fix status out.